Hey guys, um, so habits are on my mind, routines and habits. I'm actually gonna start this off by sharing, um, <laughs> when I was a fir like first a mom, I was reading all the books, right? And there was this book that was really popular when I was a young mom called The Happiest Baby on the Block. Maybe some of you guys read it. And the thing with this Happiest Baby on the Block, what they basically taught is that you have to have a routine or a schedule if you want your baby to be happy. So if you're a parent, if you've had a baby, I'm sure you have lived, I hope you have lived the truth of this, of what happens when your baby is on a consistent schedule and they know what to expect and everything's, they're like happy and composed and chill. And then you go on some trip or something crazy happens and they get thrown off and what happens? The baby gets all like a mess. They turn into a mess. They're anxious, they're crying, they're throwing fits all the time. And guess what? We're just a bunch of grown up babies. <laughs> So there is so much power in routine and habits for us. And I like right now, I mean, because I'm working mindset with people, I am like on the front lines of seeing how much anxiety and stress is overwhelming everyone. And I instituted a morning routine about three years ago now, and it has been completely life-changing. So I am making myself the happiest baby on the block by giving myself my own routines and habits that bring me peace, that let me know what to expect, they help reduce anxiety. And so I just wanna encourage that. If you haven't yet instituted something in your life that has routine, that invites power into your day, especially in the mornings, please do that for yourself. So I'll share. This is what, this is what I do. So I wake up at the same time every morning. I get up at five. Sometimes I want to really push that into four. I love my morning routine so much, but the reality is I, I have teenage kids and I don't get to bed early enough for me to make that a consistent habit. So 5 a.m. I get up at five. Okay. And if you're just starting this, make it like clockwork. So from five o'clock to 520, I get, I get ready. I have my gym clothes laid out the night before. There's another habit. So they're just laying on the floor. I got my freaking underwear, my, my socks, my shoes, my sweatshirt, everything's picked out. Okay. Then I get up, brush my teeth, do all that stuff. So I'm awake and then I meditate. And so for 10 minutes, I meditate. And very simple, if you want an app, that's amazing. I, I, my favorite meditation app is Insight Timer. I recommend doing guided for like a year. <laughs> um, there's tons on YouTube too, but Insight Timer is great. Um, it's free. And now I've kind of graduated into silence. My, my whole goal is to have silence. So I just say, hey Siri, set a timer for 10 minutes. Boom, sit down, 10 minutes, just releasing thoughts and the key of meditation. I, I won't hang on meditation for too long, but it's generally just teaching yourself how to allow thoughts to come in and become aware, become aware of your environment, become aware of your body, become aware of sounds, become aware of your thoughts and your thought patterns and just let them go. Don't hang on to them. Don't be like, oh, F, I thought about something again. I'm not, don't do that. <laughs> don't stress yourself out. Just be like, ah, oh, okay, interesting. I think about um, fitness a lot. I think about my kids a lot. I think about that stressful conversation with my mom yesterday. That, that's on my mind. Got it. Noted. Let it go. Okay. 10 minutes of meditation. It's also going to teach you to not be so impulsive. So the, the thing with meditation that holds people back is they expect to do immediately. Like you're going to have this vision and your whole life's going to change. That's not, it's not, nothing's going to happen. Ooh, and that is so challenging for so many of us to not get an immediate response of like something happened. It's like, okay, I'm done, but it will teach you. I promise over time, it will teach you to be less reactive and less impulsive. So start your morning routine off with meditation. Do not meditate in your bed. Do not hit the, turn the, turn the alarm off and say, ah, I'm just going to lay here and meditate. You're going to fall back asleep. So you need to get out of bed. Okay. Next after my, after my meditation, the next thing I do is a personal development program that I have. So I, it's called elevated worldwide. That is Tony child. He is my, my, my guy, my, my, my leader, my mindset guru. He's amazing. He was the number one consultant for Bob Proctor. Who's the law of attraction guy for many years. He's worked with John Maxwell. He had similar coaches as Tony Robbins. He's amazing. So I do his program, by the way, if you do higher coaching with me, so my coaching now includes mindset coaching, training, nutrition, and mindset and biohacking. We do cool stuff and higher. So, um, after the first 90 days of doing my personal development, program. Now, uh, my clients are going to get to work with Tony through me, right? So we have a Tony and I have a special, um, uh, we have, we're doing like a little webinar next week to announce that. So pretty freaking cool. Yes. I will save this live. Um, so what is part of my, what is, what is my mindset stuff with Tony? What does that, what does that look like? 
Well, it starts off with, I have a, a notebook or he has a Kajabi program, to, uh, an online version of it, but I have a notebook. Um, and I write down, I sit there and I have been, I've been doing this for a long time now. So each month is dedicated to a certain topic. I started with gratitude. His whole thing starts with gratitude. Super important. If you just like are kind of like me on gratitude and you haven't like dived in all the way on a gratitude practice, please freaking do that. It will change your life. You will go from unhappy and feeling like you're never enough and never have enough to abundance. I have everything. I can create anything. Like it will completely change who you are at your core. I'm serious. Um, and yes, guys, I'll, I'll say this live. So I start with that. Um, I did a whole month on purpose. I did a whole month on vision. I did a whole month on belief. Um, I'm currently doing one on habits, which is why I'm sharing this because it's on my mind. Just did one last month on discipline. So anyway, what it looks like is I, I share, I write my purpose and I write my vision every morning. That's really powerful. And then after that, I write gratitude, but I write how I feel when I think about those things. I'm grateful for those three things. I'm grateful for that day gets you in touch with your emotions. So many of us are so stressed out because we're so out of touch with our emotions. We don't even know what we're feeling <laughs> and being able to identify that is huge. So that's a really con way to really good way to consistently practice that ability every day. Okay. So after that, then I do some work with whatever the topic is that month. And so, um, uh, we read a statement out loud. So that's to get your reticular activating system going. So you're, you're seeing it, you're hearing yourself saying it and you're saying it, which helps ingrain it into your subconscious more. So it is total subconscious reprogramming big time. Um, so that's what I do next. And then I do a planner. So I used to use Brendan Burchard's high performance planner. I made my own version for hire because um, I wanted it to be a little more applicable to the personal development program I do with my clients and, and match Tony stuff a little bit more too. So I pulled some of that in. Um, so I do a planner and what that means is it's like, okay, so you have all these goals and all these things you want to do, right? But have you scheduled them in or are they just this chronic stressor for you? Because if you don't schedule in the stuff that you're trying to accomplish, it just becomes a stressor. So that's what that brings me back to habits here. So habits, the gym. The, the, if you're if you're in that mindset still of like I'm gonna get to the gym at some point today, and it's not a consistent habit that you've put in at a certain time of day, it's going to become a stressor for you, and you're going to feel defeated, right? How many of you have learned that? Probably a lot of you have learned that. So you want it to become to the point where if you didn't do those things, it would feel weird for me, like not going to the gym would be like, wait, what? Like what happened to my day? My whole day just got like, Ugh. same with my morning routine. If I didn't start my day with my meditation and my gratitude, my personal development, my planning, then I, I, it would feel weird to me. I'd be like, where, where did the first part of my day that I usually go, go to, right? So building in those habits that get you what you want is the ticket not building in a habit and just thinking, I want to do this. I want to do this. I want to do this. It's just stressing you out. So how do we do this? I um, had an awesome call with, I'm in like a elite coaching group with, with Tony and a bunch of freaking amazing accomplished people. Um, and we were talking about this yesterday. Um, uh, uh, Vanessa, if you want to share this, I will share. Thank you for sharing. I will put this as an IGTV when I'm done, it will go in my feed and then you can just share it like any other posts. Thank you. Um, so, um, uh, now I lost my train of thought. Sorry. But for, for the habits, I guess I'll, I'll just finish by saying this. <sighs> oh man, I had something so good to share. I lost it guys. I apologize. Um, but I just, I guess I just want to encourage you that while you're thinking about all these things you want to accomplish, Oh, this is what I'm gonna say. I got it. I got it. <laughs> schedule in like a Nazi when you're first building your habits. So when I was first building my morning routine, do you know what I did? I had it in my calendar in my phone, 5 a.m. to 5.10 meditation. Boom. And I had alerts 5, 5.10 to 5.20 gratitude and journaling, you know, whatever you're going to do for your morning routine. I love, I love my morning routine. I think my, 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 my morning routine is the shit <laughs> because all you have to do is show up right? And it's, it's doing Tony's thing is awesome because it's guided doing the, the planner that I've created is guided. No, I'm not single. I am very much in love. Thank you for the question, Nick. <laughs> I'm very much in love with Nick. Um, so, um, 
having something ready to go for you where all you have to do is set, it's like, you know what you're going to do. That's what relieves stress so much. It's just like me laying my clothes out the night before. It relieves so much stress. It's just like, it's already done. It's done for me. So I get my clothes on. I know I'm going to do my meditation. I know that I have this program from Tony that's ready to go. It's not this crapshoot of me having to use all this mental power of like, what should I write in my journal today? That stresses you out. That stresses you out. You know what I mean? So like have something that makes it easy. So like I said in the beginning of this video, you can be the happiest baby on the block, right? Make, have a schedule for yourself. Schedule yourself like a goddamn baby, okay? It's going to relieve pressure, relieve stress. The last thing I'll share, um, if you're getting up at 5 a.m. at 5-ish, when do you normally get to bed? So being real with you, usually 10, but like not always last night, my daughter who's 15 wanted to talk. Like sometimes my kids come in and they, that is like the most precious freaking time for me ever. But I do not alter what time I wake up. I don't, it's like you made your choice. You know what time you have to get up in the morning. So you're making your choice right now. You're sacrificing your sleep right now. You're not going to make up for it. Cause if you try to make up for it, if you're constantly like, Oh, I didn't, I stayed up later. So I better sleep in later. And it's all a mess. You're going to feel like a mess. So make that commitment to your, your wake up time and what you do at night. That's what you need to take a look at. That's what we all need to take a look at. Cause I promise you nothing that valuable on the regular is happening after 10 o'clock. It's not. So take a look at that and say, no, I know I'm getting up at four. I know I'm getting up at five. So make responsible decisions in the evening. But yeah, that's for me. Okay. Last thing I'll share. Um, recently, this was really valuable to a lot of my clients. And, um, so I thought I would, I would share this as well. Yeah. And it's better for your circadian rhythm. Exactly. Um, so I, I took, I just made a, a table in a Google doc and I just said Monday through Sunday and I did every hour of the day and I took all the things and it might take you a couple days to, to, to list these all out, but you know, keep notes on your phone. What are all the things I want to work on? You got to, for me, it's like retreats, book, um, like all the little gifts I'm doing in higher, um, working on higher system, the systems for my coaching, um, like, uh, stuff with my kids or my boyfriend. Um, like what else did I have in there? Gosh, so many things. Um, just all the different facets of my business, right? Because especially if you're an entrepreneur, it's like, oh, podcast, oh, this other podcast, like bleh, there's all these little moving parts, right? So I kept a list, a running list. So do that with your life. I really recommend this. Like what are all the things, you know, and keep a list and then create this like block schedule. And I want you to put in, I want you to take all those things and I want you to schedule in times that you're going to do it. So, okay, I need maybe two hours a day to work on systems in my business or whatever. Okay. So start putting all that in there. And I want you to take a look at how realistic it is. Cause I bet you, I bet you, I promise you, you're overwhelming yourself. If you're, if you feel overwhelmed, please do this and take a look and say, cause when I first did it, I was like, well, goddamn, I sure hope I never have to get on a phone call or have a meeting or ever have an interruption because all of my time is slammed with all of these things that I've taken on. So what did I have to do? I'm like, you can't do all that right now. <laughs> you can't work on all of those projects right now. So finish this project. Once that's streamlined, now you have a space to move one of these other projects into some of these, these blocks, but you gotta have, you gotta have open space. We gotta have open space. So but it's really cool because having that strategy, having that, having things scheduled in, it relieves so much pressure. It's like, okay, I know I get home from the gym nine o'clock, nine to 10 is my getting ready hour. Okay, cool. All right. Okay. 10, you know, 10 is when I work on this. 11 is when I take my first calls. It's just having those in place. It relieves so much freaking stress. So, um, I just want to share all that because these habits, these having, having good habits is everything. Right. And then taking accountability. Like for me right now, I know that making this call is eating up some of my gym time. <laughs> okay. I know that I'm taking responsibility for that. So what does that mean? That means later I'm going to have to do my cardio separately, but I chose to do this. I chose to do this right now, even though it interfered with that time a little bit. Do I know that I have time to do that later? Yes, I do. <laughs> okay. So just like really start to analyze, analyze your habits, especially in the morning. And if you, I know you, I know I am not the first person to say this, but if you were getting on the freaking phone when you first wake up, I bet you're stressed out the wazoo. Mm -hmm. You wake up, you start scrolling. I don't even want to talk to you about your stress levels. I know you're stressed out because you live in a reaction, a reactionary life. 
You are living a life full of reaction. You are being blown by the wind. Whatever freaking comes your way, whatever distraction comes your way, squirrel, 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 you're all over it. And that's why you're stressed out because you're not owning your life. You're not saying like, mm -mm -mm. you guys know that I, 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 I partake of very little social media. If it's not on the first couple of little things, like right when I go in to do my own work, I don't see it because that puts me in reaction mode. I'm too busy creating to be doing that all day. So think about that, like create your life from the inside. This is intentional living, this inside out living, not just waiting for every little thing to come our way and say no to stuff. I say no to stuff all the time now. I had to learn that. There's lots of cool things you can do. But do they build what you want? And this is why me writing my purpose and my vision every day is a really good reminder. Does that fit in? Not really. So I can't do that right now. I have too many of these other things that I've already planned out that I'm doing. So intentional living. Do I keep my phone by my bed? Yes, I do. Um, I know a lot of people are like, no, like you've got to have the Wi-Fi and all of it has to be off and you need to have an alarm clock that's not your phone. Um, I trust myself enough to stay off my freaking phone that I just use it as my alarm. I, I like to be able to be like, Hey, Hey Siri, you know, <laughs> I, I'm anyway, that's just me. But, um, I have in my health app on my iPhone, my wake up time is just set at five o'clock. It just does it automatically. I don't even have to set an alarm. All right. That's why I kind of like that. Um, yep. hundred percent. Life is just habits. All this stuff that you think you think you like, don't have, you don't have discipline. You don't you know all these things these issues that you think you have. It's just, you have bad habits and I do too. I have bad habits too. All right. So our lives are a result of first of the mental habits that we have. All right. And then those come to fruition in our actual physical habits. So huge. So anyway, so I share that morning routine. If you don't have one yet, it's fine. You're just out operating at a fraction of your potential. That's all <laughs> just being real with you doing that three years ago, completely changed my life. It's intentional living at its finest. And those first, that first hour you're awake is freaking powerful. Are you wasting that on scrolling through freaking social media or like watching the news? Oh my God, please don't, please don't do that. Don't allow somebody else to take your power hour from you. Own that shit. Own it. Okay. All right. Much love guys. Watch your habits, build new habits promise you if, if you can just do like one intentional thing, one morning routine thing, your whole life will change. Okay. Have a great day guys. <laughs> Bye.